The movie opens up with the introduction of The Banana Splits, a popular children's television series featuring four animatronic animal characters. Flegel the Beagle, Bingo the Orangutan, Drooper the Lion, and Snorky the Elephant. The show's human co-star Stevie is also an essential part of the show. Elsewhere, a young boy named Harley, who is a big fan of The Banana Splits, dresses up in a Snorky costume and creeps into the living room. There, he startles his sleeping mother, Beth. She jumps up with a scream, thinking there's a wild animal in the house, but it's only her son. Beth scolds Harley for being up so late, but the latter is too excited as it's his birthday. Nonetheless, she tells him to wait for a few hours and tucks him into bed. Following this, Beth goes straight to her elder son Austin's room and confronts him for returning home late. She is worried that he might end up with the bad guys. However, Austin mentions that he he is already 19, so she shouldn't worry about him. He also requests her to not tell anything to his stepfather, Mitch. Beth agrees, but only on the condition that he be more careful from now on. The following morning, as everyone is busy with the birthday preparations, Austin sneaks inside Mitch's room and attempts to steal some money. But to his bad luck, Mitch catches him in the act, making up for a very awkward encounter. Later, the whole family gathers to celebrate Harley's birthday and showers him with gifts. Austin brings out a magic wand that expands with the push of a button, while Beth and Mitch provide him with tickets to the live show of The Banana Splits. Harley is ecstatic with these gifts, and soon the entire family leaves for the studio. Along the way, they also pick up one of Harley's classmates, Zoe, from her house. In the next scene, the family arrives at Taft Studios, where they meet the show's hostess, Paige, as well as other excited audience members. Paige announces a no cell phone policy, but a mischievous couple, Thad and Poppy, sneaks one in anyway. Snorky's gonna have their balls for that. After a while, when the banana splits finally show up in their small car, Harley gets so excited that he runs to them. Fortunately, Snorky stops the car just in time, preventing an accident. While the atmosphere outside is absolutely crazy, things are the opposite inside. The show's manager, Andy, goes straight to his producer, Rebecca, and orders her to cancel all upcoming shows. He reveals that the banana splits have become a flop, and this will be their last taping ever. Moments later, Paige appears on stage and addresses everyone. To make the program more interesting, she asks the audience to check if their tickets have a star on the back. The lucky ones who have it will get the chance to meet the members of the Banana Splits backstage. The mischievous couple, Thad and Poppy, are among the lucky ones, but Harley is devastated that his family couldn't get a single star. Soon, the show begins, and the characters of the Banana Splits get on stage and start performing. Their human leader, Steve does not show up on time, so Paige goes to check on him. In the changing room, she finds him completely wasted and not willing to join the team. You think this is bad? You should see what Blippi did, says Steve. Right then, Austin, who told his parents that he was going to the bathroom, arrives there and tells Paige that he wants to talk to her. Once they head to a separate room, he explains that his brother is a huge fan of the banana splits and that it is also his birthday, so it would be a dream come true if he were given a chance to meet the banana splits. After hearing him out, Paige promises to do the best she can. Elsewhere, Stevie overhears Andy talking over the phone with someone. He mentions that the banana splits program has been cancelled because it doesn't fit his vision. As soon as Andy puts down the phone, Bingo arrives there and kidnaps him. It turns out the orangutan character also overheard the conversation. Next, Stevie arrives on the set and informs the other members of the banana split team that that it's their last show. Soon, the final taping of the show ends, and the audience is asked to leave. Only the ones with stars on their tickets can head backstage. But to everyone's surprise, Paige also calls up Harley and his entire family, making them excited. On the other hand, Stevie insults the Banana Splits members and expresses his happiness about the cancellation of their show. He even spits in the face of Drooper to vent out his frustration. Unfortunately, this turns Turns out to be a bad idea as Drooper gets enraged and ends up inserting a giant lollipop 
deep into Steve's throat, killing him brutally. Afterward, the lucky audience members are taken backstage where they get to meet the banana splits and begin taking pictures together. Beth asks Austin to look after the kids while she goes to find Mitch. At the same time, a middle-aged man, Jonathan, talks to Paige and requests that he let his daughter, Parker, meet the producer of the show. He mentions that his daughter is very interested in plays and wants to give an audition to prove her talent. When Paige refuses, he decides to secretly take Parker to the producer himself. He eventually finds Rebecca and requests her to observe his daughter's performance. However, the producer bluntly refuses, saying that the Banana Splits show has been cancelled. This upsets Jonathan, but he is not ready to give up. He now wants to talk to the manager of the show, Andy, himself. Outside the studio, Beth finds Mitch, but shockingly learns that he has been cheating on her all this time. She angrily confronts him about it, but Mitch doesn't seem to care. He asserts that he was compelled to see other women because she always spends more time with her sons. Austin also arrives there and tries standing up for his mom, but Mitch completely ignores him and walks away. Let's all cross our fingers and hope that Mitch will bump into Drooper. Moving on, Thad and Poppy make their way to Flegel's magic shop and start live recording recording the place. Thad even gets down to his knees and romantically proposes to Poppy, which she accepts. Unfortunately, their happy moment doesn't last long, as Flegel shows up out of nowhere and attacks Thad. He brutally finishes off the man by dissecting him in half. Poppy, who witnesses everything, screams in horror, but there is no one to help her. After a while, she is also about to be eliminated, when suddenly, Flegel hears someone approaching. He rushes to check outside only to find the two kids. Unaware of what's happening, Harley requests that he be taken to his favorite character, Snorky. And in response, Flegel nods in agreement. Meanwhile, Jonathan and Parker arrive at Andy's office, but he's not around. Instead, they find Drooper, who immediately burns Jonathan's face. Parker screams hysterically and tries to run away, but ends up being kidnapped by Bingo. Outside, Mitch is minding his own business when he hears a hurling sound approaching him. When he turns around, he sees Snorky in his car, driving toward him at full speed. Terrified, Mitch runs to save his life, and Snorky follows closely. In the next scene, Beth and Austin return to the set where they left the kids, but fail to find them around. This makes Beth very anxious, and she starts scolding her other son. Their conversation is interrupted when Jonathan suddenly arrives with a burnt face and informs them that the banana splits have gone bonkers. As soon as Rebecca hears this, she asks, asks Paige to call 911. The latter frantically rushes to the room where the phones have been kept, but learns that all of them have been destroyed. To make matters worse, the landlines have also been disconnected. Because of this, Beth and Austin start searching for the kids on their own until they are attacked by Bingo. They engage in a deadly tussle, and against all odds, the heroic mom manages to push Bingo down from a height, hence saving her son. Bingo down. After this, they find Poppy in a devastating stating state. She is grabbing Thad's hand, assuming that he is still alive. Beth sympathizes with her loss and inquires if she has seen Harley and Zoe. With a soft tone, Poppy reveals that Flegel captured the kids earlier, but she doesn't know where they are being kept. Elsewhere, we learn that Harley, Zoe, and Parker have been locked in the workshop. As they are struggling to get out, Carl, the inventor of the banana splits, appears in front of them. He appears to be compassionate and immediately lets them out. However, the kids take revenge by tricking him inside the cell and locking him. Meanwhile, the banana splits seize Rebecca and Jonathan and transport them to one of the stages, the sloppy time course, where they are made to dance for their lives. But in the end, Flegel uses a key to stab Jonathan in the back, while Drooper destroys Rebecca with a hammer. What the f- on the other hand, the kids come upon Snorky while looking for a way out. Despite the dire circumstances, Harley is excited to finally meet his favorite character. He tells his friends that Snorky is a good person, and hearing this, the latter also agrees to help them. Elsewhere, as the adults are searching for the kids, they arrive at the workshop and notice Carl. Paige immediately inquires how they can stop the banana splits, but with a sad face, Carl mentions that they can't. The banana splits are programmed to keep performing, and since the show is cancelled, they have become violent. As the group is discussing, they hear some music coming from the other room and decide to follow it. However, Poppy stays behind and grabs a creepy mask that was apparently designed for the fifth Banana Split member, Hootie. 
As soon as she puts it on, she becomes controlled by the programming and becomes violent. Carl begs to be released from the cell, but he too meets a tragic demise. Elsewhere, the adults reach another room and get horrified to learn that Flegel and Drooper have been amusing kids with cruel and disgusting acts, like cutting Andy's limbs off and burning Stevie's dead body. What am I reading? At the same place, Snorky brings Harley, Zoe, and Parker and chains them up with the other children. Surprise Surprisingly, Snorky also hands Harley the keys to the chains. After he leaves, Harley quickly unlocks the chains and releases the children. Seeing this, Beth orders Austin and Paige to guide the kids to safety while she starts fighting with Flegel and Drooper. At one point, she nearly gets killed, but her sons arrive in the nick of time and rescue her. Then, the family heroically fights against Flegel and Droop and eventually kills them. After this, they rush to the exit door, but Bingo, the orangutan, suddenly shows up and traps them. It appears as if the good guys are about to meet their doom as the giant monster is poised to attack them. However, at the last second, Snorky arrives there and starts tussling with his friend. The fight is a deadly one in which both the Banana Splits characters get injured badly. But it is Harley's favorite Snorky who prevails in the end. Unfortunately, he too passes away due to his injuries. In the last scene, the group finally gets out of the studio, and at the same time, the police also arrive. Everyone is tired and scared from the encounter, but Austin still doesn't miss his chance to flirt with Paige. To his delight, she reciprocates his feelings with a kiss. After a while, an injured Mitch approaches Beth and mentions that he has finally realized her importance in his life. However, Beth punches him in the face, saying she wants a divorce. Yes. After the group finally departs, a now crazy Poppy starts driving in the Banana Splits buggy. She is poised to exact revenge on her fallen brothers. The movie ends as Flegel also comes to life and starts laughing maniacally. You're welcome in advance for the nightmares. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.